Hello, Gemma here, and this summer I'm sharing with you some of the treasures and tales from the Museum of Norwich at the Bridewell. The museum is in the heart of the Norwich lanes and is packed with stories of the city from the medieval to the modern day. And today we are finding out all about marvellous medicine. One of the museum highlights is this beautiful recreated chemist shop donated to the museum in its entirety by Norwich pharmacist John Newstead, who collected every single item in this wonderful and unique collection. The shop is set out how it would have looked from the late 20s or 30s when the pharmacist would have proudly displayed glassware, bottles and jars which dated much further back, all on mahogany shelves and counters. Before the National Health Service, many people would pop to the chemist for advice and for medicines to be made up there and then on the premises, rather than seeing a doctor. The pharmacist would chat to the customer and then disappear into the dispensary to make up the medicine. Here's John describing how a chemist would make a batch of pills by hand. And you weighed the ingredients, placed them in the pill mortar. There'd probably be two or three different ingredients. You mixed, you mixed them together. Then you had a, a base which was mostly licorice powder. You then used to mix them with the liquid glucose to, to make it stiff and you finished up with a lump on the bottom, which was the pill mass. You rolled it with your hands, clean hands, of course. Then it was rolled until it was exactly the same size. Otherwise you get big pills and little pills. Cut the pipe and bring it off and the pills would come in, roll onto there. Depending on what you were going to coat them with, this was for silvering pills. You put the pills in there, and you put the silver piece of silver leaf in, grind it up. You then have to varnish them. You'd have to separate them because they'd all stick together. And then you'd have to leave them for half an hour before you could put them in a, put them in a box, label them, and you'd have to write on there the patient's name and the pills one to be taken at night or whatever. To get that lot, <laughs> it was quite a feat. Did you notice all the small drawers in the chemist's shop? Each of these drawers, called drug runs, stored raw ingredients which were used to make medicines. Each has a glass label on it listing the contents and the label uses the Latin name for the ingredient. In the museum, we have recreated a drug run so visitors can discover what's inside and smell the curious contents. From the earliest times, medicines were the product of plants boiled or soaked in water. You can see here chamomile and cinnamon. Cinnamon can be used for tummy aches along with other medicinal uses and chamomile flowers are used in teas which may help aid sleep. Later, pharmacists used their skills to make pills and pastels, often referring back to their own recipes which would be handwritten in a ledger which you can see just here. As well as their own handcrafted medicines, chemists would sell branded goods, many of which we would refer to today as cure-alls. That is, they claimed to be able to take care of a whole range of nasty ailments. But chemists didn't just sell medicines. They stocked all manner of essentials. Straw hat dye, anyone? They even sold vet products, especially in Norwich, where the cattle market was an important weekly fixture. We think our pharmacy is rather awe-inspiring, with the ability to transport you to a time gone by. And over the last couple of years, it has inspired many artists. Last year, as part of the Norfolk and Norwich Festival, Will Tether painted this glorious globe chemist installation, which was displayed for the duration of the festival. The pharmacy has featured as a striking background for a photo shoot. And most recently, the fabulous shoemaker Emily Jupp made us this fancy footwear inspired by the collection. Maybe the Bridewell's chemist shop might make you feel like getting a little creative. We would like to dedicate this film to John Newstead, who passed away last year. The Bridewell Pharmacy is a lasting legacy to him and his dedication to his profession.